Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, and we are on day 2,292 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I'll guide you through the vast landscapes of biblical wisdom. It's a pleasure to have you join me on this journey. Today, our exploration takes us into the profound insights of Proverbs chapter 22, verses 8 through 14 from the New Living Translation. As we dive into these verses, let's seek the timeless wisdom that can guide us into understanding the consequences of sowing iniquity, the value of discerning heart, and the importance of humility and the fear of the Lord. Without further delay, it's time to head out onto the trail and into the wisdom of Proverbs. Verse number 8. Those who plant injustice will harvest disaster, and their reign of terror will come to an end. This verse biblically depicts the consequences of awaiting those who sow injustice. How can we understand the principles of reaping what we sow, especially regarding injustice? We need to choose righteousness over injustice by recognizing the principles of those who plant injustice will harvest disaster. Choose to sow seeds of righteousness in your actions, understanding that injustice leads to the harvest of disaster. Cultivate a commitment to justice and fairness, knowing your choices will have consequences. Now let's explore verse 9. Blessed are those who are generous, because they will feed the poor. This verse highlights the blessings bestowed on those who are generous, especially toward the poor. How can we cultivate a heart of generosity, especially for those who are in need? We do this by cultivating a heart of generosity and recognizing the blessings of associated with generosity, especially toward the poor. Cultivate a heart of generosity in your attitudes and actions, actively seeking opportunities to bless others. Choose to be a source of provision to those in need, understanding that generosity brings blessing not only to others, but also to your own life. Now verse 10 speaks of the consequences of sowing discord. Throw out a mocker and the fighting goes too. Quarrel and insults will disappear. This verse illustrates the impact of removing a mocker and the sensation of quarrels and insults. How can we navigate relationships wisely and address the presence of a mocker? We do this by addressing the presence of a mocker and recognizing the impact a mocker will have on relationships and the potential for quarrels and insults. Choose to address the presence of a mocker wisely understanding that removing them can bring peace and harmony. Cultivate an atmosphere of respect and understanding, fostering healthy relationships that are free from strife. Now let's turn our attention to verse 11. The Lord loves to see people converted. It is dear to Him that they turn from their sins. This verse emphasizes the joy and delight that God finds in the conversion of people turning from their sins. How can we understand the depth of God's love for the repentant? We need to embrace repentance and conversion and recognizing the joy and delight that God finds in people's repenting and conversion. Embrace the lifestyle of repentance, turning from sin and seeking God's forgiveness. Choose to align your life with God's will, understanding that He loves to see people converted and finds it dear when they turn from their sins. Verse 12 continues the reflection of a discerning heart. The Lord preserves those with knowledge, but He ruins the plans of the treacherous. This verse highlights the preservation of those with knowledge and thwarting the plans of the treacherous. How can we cultivate a discerning heart and align our knowledge with God's preservation? We do this by cultivating a discerning heart, recognizing the importance of a discerning heart and receiving God's preservation. Cultivate knowledge and wisdom in your decisions, seeking understanding and discernment. Choose to align your plans with God's principles, knowing that He preserves those with knowledge and thwarts the plans of the treacherous. Now let's explore verse 13. A lazy person claims, There's a lion out there. If I go outside, I might be killed. This verse humorously illustrates the excuses of a lazy person, blaming an imaginary danger for their unwillingness to work. How can we overcome the temptation to make excuses and embrace diligence in our pursuits? We do this by overcoming excuses and embracing diligence by recognizing the pitfalls of making excuses especially when it comes to laziness. Choose to overcome your temptations and to blame imaginary dangers for avoiding work. Embrace diligence in your pursuit, understanding that success comes from the effort and commitment, 
cultivate a strong work ethic that is free from the hindrances of excuses. And finally, let's explore verse 14. The mouth of the adulterous woman is a deep pit. The man who is under the Lord's wrath falls into it. This verse portrays the dangerous allure of the mouth of the adulterous woman and the consequences of those who fall into that pit. How can we guard against the allure of destructive paths and avoid falling into the pits of temptation? Well, we need to guard against destructive paths by recognizing the dangers represented by the mouth of the adulterous woman and the pitfall it presents. Choose to guard against the destructive paths and avoid falling into the pits of temptation. Cultivate a commitment to righteousness and fidelity, understanding that those under the Lord's wrath are susceptible to such pitfalls. And there you have it, my friends. Insights from Proverbs chapter 22, verses 8 through 14. These verses offer us timeless wisdom for choosing righteous power over injustice, cultivating a heart of generosity, addressing the presence of a mocker, embracing repentance and conversion, cultivating a discerning heart, overcoming excuses, embracing diligence, and guarding against destructive paths. As we continue on our journey through the pages of the Bible, remember that the wisdom it offers is a guiding light in navigating the complexities of life. Until the next time, keep seeking God's wisdom and make it part of your daily trek. And if you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review. Then encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, then to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.